there guys and welcome back to Naturally Awesome. I'm Eva and today I want to talk about headaches and natural remedies against headaches. And cucumbers are one of them. So let's get started. Most of the headaches are caused due to dehydration or chronic dehydration and that is if you're not drinking enough water or eating enough water-rich foods like fruits and vegetables, melons or cucumbers in general because they're very rich in water and if you're eating or drinking things like coffee and alcohol which are dehydrating and if you eat a lot of salty foods like chips or fast food and if you're eating a lot of cooked food and not really that much fresh fruits and vegetables then you might get dehydrated and that's why you're getting headaches but that's just one of the reasons there are still other reasons, like if you're having food allergies, that can cause headaches and migraines, or if you're loaded with toxic heavy metals, or if you have a lot of stress, if you're sensitive to cleaners and chemicals, or in woman's case, if your menstrual cycle is coming. Because you gotta know that a woman's reproductive system takes up 80% of her body's energies and her immune system functionality. And if there are other triggers happening, like I mentioned right before, the dehydration, stress, allergies, heavy metals. So when your cycle is coming, then your body's reserves and immune system power switches in to help the reproductive system and you might end up getting a headache. So let's talk about the natural remedies to treat your headaches. When it comes to stress, the best method that is the best method is simply to relax and do things that calm you down and take some deep breath because that way your body gets more oxygen which helps to relieve you from your headache. And for stress relief you can do things like yoga or meditation or simply go for a walk out in nature without being distracted. And if your headache is caused by dehydration then the best way to conquer is to drink up. So when you're getting a dehydration headache Start drinking lots of water or make yourself some fresh cucumber juice or watermelon juice because these juices are very rich in water and minerals that help you to get rehydrated. When you're chronically dehydrated, think about substituting coffee with something else or simply drink a little less to get less dehydrated. And a great alternative to coffee is chaga mushroom powder. I'm using it every day and it's super delicious. And you can also find a video on my channel where I show you how to make a chaga latte. So check that out if you're looking for an alternative. And another thing you can do to treat your headache naturally is to eat about seven almonds or about a handful of almonds because almonds naturally contain salicine and that is also found in over-the-counter drugs and it is a pain reliever. But only do that if you're not allergic to nuts of course. The next thing you can do to treat your headache naturally is to drink ginger water. Ginger is also a natural pain reliever, so simply add a few slices of ginger into your warm or hot water or grate it in freshly to make it even more powerful and stronger. Then you can let it soak for about 10 to 30 minutes depending on how warm or hot your water is and zip it and feel the relief. The next thing is something spicy again. 
because it's cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper treats pain and inflammation due to capsaicin, which it naturally contains. And this inhibits something in our body that is one of the main elements of pain perception. So capsaicin out of cayenne pepper depletes the substance that makes us feel pain. And it's a great headache relief. Last but not least, we have some teas that you can make when you feel your headache is coming up. And that would be feverfew and butterbroot. Feverfew helps to keep your blood vessels expansion balanced and butterbroot works as a natural beta blocker which increases the blood flow to your brain. And there are triggers that can cause migraines so if you're one of the people that usually get their headaches when they eat certain foods that are rich in histamines then think about removing wheat gluten and dairy products and especially eggs from your diet because those won't make it better oh and also pay attention to the food you're consuming that it doesn't contain any MSG or even natural flavors because those are triggers as well. And if you think that your body is loaded with lots of toxic heavy metals then check out my heavy metal detox juice or my day 7 of the raw vegan challenge where I show you how to make a super simple and delicious detox smoothie bowl. And I also put you the links down below so you can find them. And you know there's one last thing that I'm about to tell you that you can do to make your headache a little bit better and that is this one here. I simply mixed up some water with a drop of lavender oil and a drop of peppermint oil and eucalyptus oil. And then you shake it and there's a roll on top and then you can roll it on here or if you have a stiff neck, even on your neck. And this is really refreshing. And if you use alcohol instead of water, it's even more refreshing and relaxing. So this is one of my favorite treatments, especially if I have a stiff neck and it smells amazing. When you can find these little cute roll-on bottles on Amazon, and they come in packs like five to 10, so you can mix up different kind of essential oils for whatever you need. So those were my tips how to treat your headache naturally. My favorite way of treating it is always by drinking cucumber or watermelon juice because usually I get a dehydration headaches and that really does it the trick. So I hope there's something else for you in it that will help you get rid of your headaches and let me know if you tried it and if it helped and if you like this video and it was helpful for you then be sure to give me your thumbs up and for even more tips and tricks round about the raw vegan lifestyle subscribe to my channel and follow me daily on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Snapchat all at Naturally Rawsome. Links are also down below. And I'll see you guys soon in another episode and until then, remember, keep it light and simple and as always, naturally, awesome. See you soon. Bye. Now what to say about a headache? My head is aching. That's a headache.